What should I whip up today? That is a great idea. Lindley, Lindley, what is Lindley making? Today is one of my specialties, pot pie. Pie? Did Tatsu ever tell Lindley pie is his favorite? Tatsu will even help Lindley make it. Great. Why don't you flatten out that crust? Tatsu will jump to it. How big does Lindley want crust to be? Oh, just big enough. To cover you completely. How many times Tatsu need to tell Lindley? Tatsu is here to serve, not be served. Oh, right. That does sound familiar. Lily always say that, too. Lily say that every time. Time to eat, everyone. <clears throat> I can't get over your cooking, Lynn. That was delicious. Thanks, Gwyn. Glad you liked it. I hope it was enough. If I'd known we were expecting company, I definitely would have made more. Yes, yes! Then maybe Tatsu could eat full portion! <laughs> Sorry, Pint Size. What Gwyn lacks in stature, he more than makes up for with his monstrous appetite. He's kind of a pig. Okay, first of all, I'm taller than you. And second, you just ate almost double what I did. Who's the pig here? I'm assuming you didn't just come here to argue. What's going on? So, we had this extermination order up around the northern coast. Some violent indigens that got a little too touchy-feely. Apparently banged up a few outfitters. Pretty standard stuff. We're all prepped and about to head out, and then bam! Another job comes in from Commander Tank Top. I mean, I know we're the best and all, but seriously. Sounds rough. All right, you take the indigents, and we'll take Vandom's job. Thank you, Colonel. Let me walk you through the intel. These images I'm about to show you are from a probe in Oblivia. Is that a ship of some sort? Can't really tell from that distance. Yeah, it's hard to grasp the scale with such long-range images. Whatever it is, it's getting hammered. Friends must do something to help poor ship. Tatsu will not stand for this injustice. Says the one guy who never actually fights anything. It's difficult to say for sure from this, but that craft on the right, I bet it's Ganglion. It shares aspects of their mech design. Our thoughts exactly. The assignment is to get there and confirm one way or another. We don't know who built the ship that's under attack. But as the commander so elegantly put it, our enemy's enemies might be our pals. I'm inclined to agree. If we're gonna settle here on Mira, we'll need all the friends we can get. That's for sure. All right, thanks for the info. We'll take it from here. Thank you, Colonel. Welcome to Sandy Bum Canyon. A.K.A. Oblivia. Huh? Olivia? Friends really name it that? You know I said Oblivia. Uh, Lindley, listen to Tatsu. This place always have sandstorms. Sands get everywhere. Therefore, 
Sandy Bum Canyon. No pun ancestors name it just fine ages ago. Or does Lindley think she better name her than native Mirin peoples? What? I... no. Good. Tatsu accept Lindley apology and forgive. This time. <sighs> Strange. There's nothing here. It was hard to tell the scale of it from the grainy images. But that ship should have at least been big enough to spot from here. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? Elma, look! Another new Xeno species. Hang on. Maybe I can pick up what they're saying. So they're not ganglion, at least. Yeah. It sounded like they're fighting against them to me. Friends, friends. Tatsu knows. Those are Manon. Manon appeared on Mira maybe year before friends? Hmm. I know that sound. What is it, Elma? Just Tatsu, the ganglion, and now these Manon. Don't you find it a little odd that we can understand these alien languages? Good point. Right? Must be something like that. But we haven't been using our comm devices when we've been talking with Tatsu. Well, Tatsu is fluent. More or less. Tatsu, did you study our language? Friends language? What language are we speaking right now? What language? No pun, of course. Friends, no pun. Very good, by the way. See? Xenoforms have different anatomy, physiology, different vocal setups in general. It seems likely they would struggle with our pronunciations. And yet here we are, conversing. But if they can't even produce the sounds, this shouldn't be possible. No, it shouldn't be. Unless, our words aren't being perceived as sounds at all. Maybe our intent is getting across some other way. But how? Could it be something about this planet? <laughs> Someone sounds pretty intrigued, huh? Well, what if it is some kind of new phenomenon? Aren't you curious to learn more? Alright, now you're starting to sound just like L. Okay already. Friends talk less, help Manon more. After all, Tatsu have reputation as hero pawn to uphold here. Sure. Right after a quick snack. I'm not sure how much we can help, but we should at least make contact. Agreed?
on any planet. Yeah. 
I got a workout from all that running. Tatsu here to help. Yay! More aliens! Yes, look, they got food too! No fun takeout, yes? Tatsu is not takeout or food. Humans are personnel to assist Tatsu. Personnel? Yeah. No, Tatsu mean personnel favorites. <laughs> Humans are not working with the game leader? Sorry for the scare. We're from a planet called Earth. The ganglion are enemies to us as well. Enemies, you say? That means you're friends to the Manon, yes? We are Manon, you know. Ours is an advanced civilization. You can tell, right? The ganglion desire our technology. But Earth human heroes have come to save us, right? I'm right, right? I hope so. Why don't one of you tell us what happened? Okay, so in other words, if we can destroy their weapons, your ship can escape. Exactly! They have three turrets set up around the area. You see them now? We need you to destroy them all, okay? Please? Got it. We don't want the ganglion controlling the airspace here any more than you do. We'd be happy to help out. You mean it? You'll help us? 